In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with variables and line graphs. In example A, it says, select the best descriptions for the following variables and indicate your selections by marking an X in the appropriate boxes. So we have a bunch of different variables here, number of members in a family, a person's marital status, length of a person's arm, color of cars, and number of errors on a math test. For each one, our job is to figure out, is the variable quantitative or qualitative? And is the variable discrete or continuous? So for each of these five variables, we'll have two different check marks. Well, actually, only if it's a quantitative variable will we have to decide if it's discrete or continuous. If it's qualitative, we'll only have that one check mark, and that's it. All right, so number of members in a family. Well, that is definitely quantitative because it's a number. So it's quantitative, not qualitative. Now, is that discrete or continuous? So you have to think, could you have any number of members in a family, any number including decimals or fractions? And that's not true. So that variable is not continuous, it's actually discrete because it only exists at whole numbers. Now, what about a person's marital status? That's sort of like you're single or you're married or you're divorced but that's not a quantitative thing. You can't attach a number to those things. So that's qualitative, and therefore we don't need to think about if it's discrete or continuous. Length of a person's arm. That's definitely quantitative because that's a number, and it's also continuous because a length can exist anywhere in between specific whole numbers. So that's continuous. And the last one, number of errors on a math test, well, that's quantitative. So quantitative because it's a number. And that's also discrete because you can't have partial error. You have maybe two errors or three errors or four errors. It has to be whole number. And I realized we forgot the color of cars. Color of cars would be qualitative because a color is not a number. So that would be qualitative as well. Next, we're going to look at example C. The following graph represents three plans that are available to customers interested in hiring a maintenance company to tend their lawn. Using the graph, explain when it would be best to use each plan for lawn maintenance. So this is something that you'll often have to do or really want to do in order to be able to compare different things. You'll have to look at a graph and see what information it's telling you. So here we have three plans and they're color coded. And what I noticed to start with, if we want someone for basically no time at all, the green plan, plan B is the cheapest. And then plan C is sort of in the middle and plan A is the most expensive. But as time goes on, these, this order changes and by the end, at 60 hours, plan A is actually the cheapest if you want someone for 60 hours, and plan B is off the chart. It would be way up here, how much you'd have to pay them for 60 hours. So what I notice is what plan I'm gonna choose depends on how many hours that I want to hire someone. So let's think about how long is plan B the cheapest, because it starts out being the cheapest right here, and it's the cheapest all the way until this point right here. And at this point, 12.5 hours, it's the same cost as plan C, the blue line. And after that, plan C is actually the cheapest. So plan C is the cheapest from 12.5 hours. It's still the cheapest because it's the lowest line all the way to 50 hours, at which point it's the same cost as plan A. And then for the last 10 hours, between 50 hours and 60 hours, plan A is the cheapest. So that's basically our answer. So plan B is cheapest and you should choose plan B. If you want someone from anywhere between zero and 12.5 hours, and if you want someone for more than 12.5 hours, you should choose plan C, assuming that you only want them up to 50 hours. So plan C 
was from 12.5 to 50 hours. And then plan A was the cheapest for those big jobs from 50 hours up to 60 hours. So plan A is 50 to 60 hours. And we could assume this graph would continue and then plan A would also be the cheapest for above 60 hours as well.